with the proofs, do what you can, right? So let k be even. So you know what you're going to do. And then what would the very last line be if you're trying to figure out where you're going? Hence what? Hence k squared. Hence k squared is even. So uh, even if you don't know how to do the proof, you can write the model of the proof, right? You know exactly what you got to do. You get some points there, right? Any point here and point there helps. And again, I could have even odd. You know, an odd plus an even is what? You take an odd number and add an even number, what do you get? Odd. Uh, what's an even plus an even? Even. An odd plus an odd? Even. Even. What's an odd times an odd? Even. Odd. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Odd times, odd times an Sorry. even. 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 Even times an even. Even. Even times an even. 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 An odd squared. Even. Odd. Even squared. Even. Even. So, I mean, it could, I could, you can do that all day long. Uh, what's an odd plus an odd plus an odd? Even. Odd plus an odd is even, all right? Plus an odd is odd. <laughs> uh, rational, irrational. We did a couple of those rational and irrational ones. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, on the valid, invalid, if you can figure it out. Then you can just do it. If you have a hard time with it, you can do the truth table. Even if you miss the truth table, I'll give you partial credit. Yes. Uh, would you mind skipping over the, the shiny spot on the board when you're writing? Where is the shiny spot? That's it's like. Well, it uh, oh. Where's your shiny spot? Right now, your head's right. Yeah, there. right in front of your like right to the right of your head. It's, it's right here. Uh, no, little little north of that. It, yeah, me, basically. Here, oh, jeez. Let's keep doing what you're doing. I don't have a shiny spot up here. <laughs> really? It's based on your perspective because mine's a little yeah. this way. Mine's on the cube, so. He's asking that question before. Yeah. Uh, he's going to sell these after class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. P implies QP, therefore Q. Is that true? Okay, you get to assume these are true. Yeah, that's true. And you get to assume this is true. So what do you know from that? Then Q is true. But I mean, what do you know from this? You know P is true. Okay. Okay, so you know P is true. And so you know that's true. Just plug in what we know. We know true implies Q is true. What's the true implies false? False. False. So Q has to be true. And the conclusion is Q is true. Okay, so that's valid. Now, if you didn't know how to do that, you can always do P implies Q and P. Plus Q. Okay, so these are our assumptions that and put together implies the conclusion, and then you should get a tautology if you use that truth table. Okay, for this one, we know that Q is true, so you can plug a true right there, and then P <coughs> implies true is true. So what does it tell you about P? What's a false and false true? False. False and false true is true. It's the other way. So P can be anything. Okay. P can be true, P can be false. So it's not a valid conclusion that, that forces P to be true. It's invalid. Uh, what's the contrapositive to P and plus Q? Okay, so these are equivalents. So sometimes when you do those implies, you can do the contrapositive there. So if you see that, 
not Q implies not P, and here's not Q, and there's not P. This is the exact same problem as this one. This is the first one. That's the second one. Wait, same problem as this one. <laughs> this is the first one. That's the second one. This is the first one. That's the second one. Uh, so it's valid. But let's do this. Uh, what would that mean, Q? What's that for Q? What's Q? True. Oh, uh, not, not Q, Q is, is true. true. So Q is false. Q is false. So we know that's a false there. What is a true and plus false? False. False. So if you put a true there, that's we get a false out. So you know that can't be true. It's gotta be false. Foul. Uh, so either that or work out the truth tables. Okay. Uh, this problem I said you can look up. Okay, so number five is on the test. So look that up. I gave you the slide it's on. Of course, it's not going to be A, B, C, D like this. I'm going to shuffle them around. Okay, so these questions, it's either P implies Q or Q implies P for each of those. So, there is a slide that tells you which way it is, so look it up, memorize it, it'll be on the test. What slide is that? Uh, if you go to conditional statements, slide tells you that all of these are this way and then all of these are the other way. So it tells you exactly which way. Okay, so with about five to ten minutes of work, a little bit of memorization, you should be able to get that one. About five points. Okay, and that leaves the truth table. Now with the truth table, this one didn't have implies, but I'll probably put implies there. So that's with the truth table, you can use not, and, or, implies, and if and only if. What about a subset? Why do you do that? A subset. Like, if one's a subset of something else? Uh, you won't, I won't give you a subset proof on this one. Like on the homework. It'll just be even odd, rational, irrational. Okay, so this is an and. Okay. And that kind of looks like an A. Right, so this is or. This is applies. This is if and only if. Okay, so since you need truth tables later on. You need it for computer organization, <coughs> make breadboards. You also need it if you had a lot of if statements in a program. Usually people, though, try to limit to just a couple expressions. If you had multiple expressions in one if statement, uh, it's not a bad idea to make sure you know what the then and else is doing. So you need this later on, so you'll have to memorize these. How, how do you do imply this? Imply and both. No. Truth. Or one or both true. No, I mean, how would you code that? No. Oh, implies is the same thing as P or not Q. When is this false? <coughs> no, I. <coughs> true implies false. Okay, so you need you need P true, Q false to give you a false. So, yeah, I was asking like how you actually code it. Yeah, it's P or not Q. So, so the the um, so or it would be P B. So P no or or yeah, it's the two. Not Q. Two bars. Oh, okay. So it's P. Uh, that's yeah. Okay. 
Uh, when is this false? When is P or not Q false? They both have to be false, right? Not P or Q. We'll, we'll see. Well, when is this false? 